Of all the skills to learn, this is one of the ones to master. Communication. Words that affect other people. That affect your career. That affect your sales. Affect your management. Affect your parenting. Be gifted with words. Of all the gifts to ask for, this is one of the major ones. The gift of words. The gift of language. Here's four steps to achieve good communication. Number one, have something good to say. A major part of communications is preparation, getting ready. That's why I talked about absorb and reflect. Respond. To put things in your mental bank, your heart bank. So when you get ready to talk, there's something there. Make the deposits on purpose. Having something good to say means preparation. I've got four words for you to jot down in the development of preparation, having good things to say. The first one is interest. We just have to be mindful to sharpen our interest as the day unfolds in two major subjects, life and people. Those are the twin subjects to study, life and people. Be interested in what's going on during the day. Be interested in business. Be interested in the marketplace. Sharpen your interest in the flow of people that intersect with you as you move through the day, move through life. The second word is fascination, which goes the step beyond interest. Interested people want to know, does it work? Fascinated people want to know, how does it work? Interested people want to know what it is. Fascinated people want to know what makes it function, what makes it operate. Kids learn so much that first six, seven years because they're fascinated, they're curious, they got to know. Kids are studying ants, adults are walking on them, right? Kids, they don't walk on these ants, I'm studying them. How come an ant can carry something bigger than he is? Kids are curious about Subjects like that. They want to know. That's why kids learn so much. So sharpen up your curiosity like a child. Don't live a bland day. Be curious. Want to know. I've also learned a little trick, and that is to turn frustration into fascination. Next time you're tempted to be frustrated, see if you can't just flip the switch and find yourself fascinated instead of frustrated. The reason is because if you're fascinated, you learn a lot more than if you're just frustrated. 